Said you see it capped? Um, that's, the whole thing, no. that's all right. Hey y'all, just wanted to let y'all see. I know y'all sick of me by now. We're just adding a box, okay? Adding the boxes to the highs of the ones we split. I'm gonna put it in the middle. In between. Yeah, yeah. That's cat. Doing this with my. There we go. There we go. Now we can feel it. Just passing down this empty box. Yeah. Um. Don't go get In fact, do I don't even think there's anything left. We're just going to add a box. I wanted to try to see if there was some sign of larva. But well, you know we out of time for that. Look, they're acting funky. Yeah, that's why. they acting funky, y'all. You see this? When they acting like that, you might have a problem. We looking for a queen now. If they don't got a queen at this time, give me some smoke, honey. We might have to combine them. Looking for a queen this late in the season might be a little hard to do. Where's the lid? Right here. <clears throat> this is exactly why I got away from him deep boxes. I'm gonna move fast and furious. You just smoke me, okay? So you wanna try to find some just signs? Anything. Just try to find signs of anything right now. You just keep them off my heels. Right now they're acting cool. You know that They've been tripping. So this is just for people that started beekeeping. And we just, you know, we just running through here. And this is just for the beekeepers. I know good and well people don't want to see this part of the game. No, this ain't nothing. A little bit of nectar pollen. Nectar pollen. I'm just keep on riding. Try that uh, second one after that. I know closest to the middle. Yeah. So, man, it got this glue so tight. Mm -hmm. These things empty. Okay, a lot of pollen. I'm looking for her too. I see a couple of drones, but nothing. I don't see no a old queen cup that they tore down. There's a queen cup right there under the bottom. See it? Yeah. Queen cup right there. That's old. That's, old. That's funky yeah. looking. You got to move that lid so I can get this in there. I don't want to, I don't like sliding as many over as you do. Golly, this propolis. They good at that. They hate these. They hate these. They ain't really doing nothing. Both sides look like that? Yep, see. Okay. I'm gonna keep trailing. Yeah. Right now. Okay, now something something better start happening. But I got a feeling this is why they acting so funky. They gonna have we're gonna have to combine them bags. I don't think you give them a frame of eggs. Unless you want to do the combine. No. You give them a frame of eggs from that other one up there. Yeah, this is all 
pollen, bee bread. <clears throat> I'm surprising. I'm surprised that they ain't really, if they ain't got a queen, they ain't clowning as bad as I think, but they ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Up the honey though, so that's they storing good. up the honey, but I would like to see. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Ain't nothing on there. I don't even know why I'm gonna keep going. This is one of the old frames. Golly, the propolis game is tight. No, it's ain't got no queen. Very. Weird. She, she, it gotta be one in here. They, she just whack. Let's try that. Mm, no. There go another queen cup they working on. That's new. Mm, At the I top. Don't, See? I don't know if is in they going in it though. See them? You know they was talking about how many how many hives where all the queens was dying this year for some reason smoke me up everybody is losing queens they're not able to make nothing like before birds and stuff swoop in okay go ahead and close it up yeah and, let's rock um, this up we need to take one of them frames. Well, no, let's not do it with the feet, I guess. Do it with the uh, A medium. medium. Yeah. I'm trying to move fast here. I ain't as slow and gentle as you. I know this ain't too much commentary, y'all, but this is just showing y'all how we get down. That's all. Don't even put no box on this. Yeah, I agree. Because this still got room. Yeah. Ain't nobody in there telling them what they need to be doing. That's heavy as lead. This is why they were tripping when I came by yesterday. All right, close that one up. Pop the top on another one. On to the next. Big drone, get your big. all she wrote with that now we just gonna move i know y'all like man this is crazy this is part of the game though this one i don't even want to open this one up halfway well this one i don't know if they even have a queen i don't know if they even is in there where they at It's a lot of dumb bees. We know they dumb. Now this one might need a box. Get him, baby. Get him, baby. Get him, baby. 
Let's glued it in there. Get them, baby. Get them, baby. Get them suckers. Ah, oh, see fur Oh my goodness. Told you these these were right here. They drive them buses, man. Let me know if that smoke start messing with you. It's messing with me. That's what I thought. She can't handle the smoke. Started with. Okay. Let's work Okay. Okay. Work through. Wait a minute. Is that right? What? Um, gotta be old. That's gotta be old. Why you say that? Because, oh, no, there's more. I'm about to say, what you think? Remember, we couldn't find a queen in here and there was no larva. Man, they handled that. That's the best thing. I'll be trying to tell folks sometimes, leave stuff the hell alone. Sorry, baby, I didn't mean to beat you. Harpo told me to do it. Yeah. Huh, let me look on the other side. I'm going to see if I can't see her. Uh, nope. I was trying to see if I see any new beads, but I can't. It's just it's not dark. The light isn't right. But, okay. FYI, y'all, don't pass gas when you're trying to go in the beehive. They, they attracted to that. Methane. <laughs> really? I'm just letting them know. Go on here, bust it out. Stung in the cheeks. Okay, there's larva. Okay, we can get her a new box. Oh wow, look at that one. Which one? This next one. Oh my god. Okay, well she's doing her thing, whoever she is. Give her another mm -hmm. box anyway. Yeah, she needs a new box. Yeah. Um let me uh We don't even got don't even hunt for her. I'm not. I'm trying to, I was just trying to see what's going on with this last frame. I was going to move it. That's okay. I'll, yeah, I'll just, just we ain't got time for that. I'll do this one. Oh, they, they acting real. They acting real fancy. Come on now. Come on. Don't bite the hand of Fiji. Oh, no. You supposed to match that. No, I needed it off of me. Oh, that's you, are you smoking yourself? I'm out? smoking, baby. I'm smoking. Pour, pour the rabbit. Cause every time we do that, we end up pulling the last frame back out. Put right. that box they on her, baby. Finally, getting their first box. Finally, yay! They ain't Maybe, as dumb as I, I thought. Don't know if we need to put that I'm not over. putting that feeder back on it. Yeah, they ain't responded to that. I'm gonna leave it over here so they yeah. can. As a matter of fact, no, I'm not. Try that. It's still a bunch of. I know. I'm gonna leave them here. They'll figure it out. Come in here, you knock it out. Don't be wasting time. Get in, get out. If you go in there, you gotta have an agenda. Don't go in there just poking around. What are you going in your hive for? You're going in your hive to look for certain things. And that's what you do. You go in for one thing, and if you find something else, that's different. But for the most part, you're going in there on a mission. Well, handle that. I got this. Handle it. It's not coming out. Oh, you got it. Girl, I done told you. Girl, you know it's true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got you. Yes, you know it's true. I wonder how many people are singing it. What? So I can say this. Uh, say your words right. Milk. No feeder for them. Time for some smoke. Light it up and smoke. I know they need enough. You know they, do. No, they don't need no box. They don't need no box. Leave them be. Leave them be. Don't even, don't even crack it open. Okay. Cause that's what we coming out for. We know they productive. Well, I'm, I'm a, 
just take the first box was, off. Because I see. Trade out a couple of them plastic frames for wax. Yeah, yeah. Get, oh, I'm going a, I'm to a trade out this whole dang on box. Because they ain't did nothing. Babe, they, they ain't did nothing up here. Nothing. Look. Zero. They don't like these frames. Give me that, give me that wax. I'm about to wax that grass. Look at that. That's Jive Turkey Buildings. Come on, baby. Get that box. Drop that box. Oh, I see, bro. Yeah, see? And this box, look at this. Look at it in there. Empty as a dog. They frying like that. <laughs> they frying like bacon. I am. It's just plastic anyway. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. For now, you shouldn't be giving them too much space. But I'm gonna just do this for, for a week and then I'm gonna come back in here. So y'all don't do that. Don't give them too much space if they don't need it. I'm doing the do as I say, not as I do thing. Yeah. I know. I'm sorry, y'all. And I'm going to put this feeder back on here anyway. Because well, you gotta let them get out. they oh, can okay. get down in there. Okay. And, and I'm tripping. Because they ain't trying to crawl through and turn us into the club or something. Okay. All right, y'all. We just gonna head over here, and I'm gonna slide through here. Wait. We gonna head over here to the last box with the big queen, the big old queen. She no joke. Okay. I might be. Uh, Wi-Fi might go out. I don't know. I got your smoke, baby. It's gonna cost you twenty dollars. Got your smoke. Give him a hit. Oh my God! And I think I'm out of dog on straw. I am. Uh, I'm in some trouble, honey. I done messed around. Too much smoke. Wait. You just start pulling them apart. Well, I'm about to give him some smoke. He wood chipping around your trees if you get in here. I am, baby, baby. I know how to point this thing. Been doing it my whole life. Pointing. I'm pointing. There we go. Uh, I say low battery. Uh, low battery. Y'all don't even want to know how I did that. I knew they was gonna be jamming. They might need two boxes. Look at that. Now look at this. Man, this old girl. What she got going on? Look at all that goodness. You got you got the, the hanger? Nope. You're killing me, smiles. Just move some frames out the box right there. I don't wanna do that, man. Why? Just, just the you wanna walk all the way over there. Instead of just right here. Mm -hmm. I see some food up 
Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Here we go. Garden is uneven. Right here. Say what now? Some slackage. Uh, Slack. Not really. No, look at that. They can be slacks if they're gonna be doing like this. She all up in here. Look at that. Man, look at that pattern. You kidding me? Okay, so let's just put the box. Just put the top. box. We're gonna put it in between. So she can be like, we have somewhere to go, babies. Mama needs somewhere to put her feet up. You know mama feet be swole. I've been on that. Uh oh, and, and I'm, we need to open the entrance too. I'm gonna open the entrance wider. Damn, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. They about to get pissed off. Just pull it with the ring. I am. And they don't like it. Did you smoke one? Smoke is for suckers. Okay, sucker. I got it. I got this. I got this. It's okay, girls. Just old Uncle Led. Just come and help you out a little bit. Make you feel welcome. That's all. We just want to be friends with you. There it is. Huh, what you got? I got that. You go ahead and crank that thing. Yeah. Hmm? Sound like I hear her. All right, they jamming. Ooh, my goodness. Uh-uh. Okay, you might have been cool on that side, but it was a fleet of them over here. Okay, man, they jamming. Let me get it. Then look in that corner what you about to crunch. Billions of them, man. There we go. Oh, I still heard that crispy crunch. Where's the brick? Yeah, and see that? Uh-oh. Yeah. That's how heavy this thing is, full of honey. So we going I'm gonna I'm gonna end up having to put this down lower because this table ain't no good no more. Uh, yeah. I mean, we've had it for 12 years, 10 years. All right, let's go. All right, I'm gonna grab the smoke. We can smoke one on the way to the house. Smoke, just in case YouTube is wondering, smoke. All right, you good, honey? All right, we're going to leave it like that. I'm going to get off here. I'm going to say goodbye to all my gardening pals. And then, uh, man, they, they disappointing right there. They really make my, my spirit hurt. All right, hang on, y'all. Hang on. Okay. Real quick. Oh, cause my battery about to die. Oh. 
Hey everybody, any questions? Any questions? Hope they don't come over here and get me. So lost my third queen or a couple of queen cells in the hive. So I'm going to see what happens. Yeah, that's the smartest thing, Andrew. Just hang out and let them do their thing. Everybody losing queens. I don't know what's going on with this whole year. Everybody losing queens. Uh, let me see. When should I do my first inspection? Right now, you just hold on. Uh, do it in a week. Did you buy a, a package or a new game, nerd? So let me find out. Uh, Herman, don't even ask. Them used to be my boys. Them used to be my boys. I, I didn't even care if they was lip syncing. Them cats, boy, I'm telling you, them boys was, they did their thing. I seen them in concert when I was younger. <laughs> Millie Vanilli. <laughs> Millie Vanilli. Uh, guess I would take my peach tree that I air layered off uh, Mama Tree tomorrow. It's full of roots. It's my first ever chili dog style. Hey, Bob. You see this? You see this dry? Listen, this lemon tree. I'm gonna release a video tomorrow, and I'm gonna show you about this lemon tree right here. This is a whole tree, and I'm gonna show everybody it bounced back to life, because that's a chili dog that I just took off, off a of Lillian. I'm gonna show you uh, in the video tomorrow. Oh, uh, what's up, uh, James? Oh, you got a nuke? Yeah, you, you'll be fine. Just wait for about a, a week. If you got a nuke, you ain't got nothing to look for yet. Not quite yet. Uh, what do the bees stick onto? I know they don't like vanilla or black backing. And I bought the popsicle sticks. What do they stick onto? What do the bees stick onto? I don't understand the question. How do you handle... Oh, oh, you know what? Shoot, let's go in the house. Shoot. Hold on. Let's go in the house. Because I got this suit on. I'm hot and my battery about to die. So I'll answer some B questions real quick. Been on here only 27 minutes. Answer some B questions. And then uh, we'll be out. <sighs> okay. Uh, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me get my, let me get my charger juice. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me let me plug in. Plug in and fan up. Woo. There it is. Okay, real quick. All right, we should be good. Should be good. Okay. Said so popsicle sticks will work. The popsicle sticks work great. Um, when you ask what do I, if you ask it, what do you stick the popsicle sticks up in there with? Drop a, melt a little bit of uh, beeswax in there, even the kind you get from the store. Just melt a little bit of beeswax up in there. Okay. Hey, Crafty Mom says, Bob said, it's too late to air layer pecan tree now, Lid. Um, nah. Nah. Because I just did one a uh, little, what, three weeks ago, something like that. No, I think you can still do it. They just take, they take longer. And it's only, it's only like, what? We might as well say it's July. Mm, I would, I would try it anyway. How long you keep bees for? If you ask it, how long have I been keeping bees for, I think 10 years? Hey, Beauty in the Garden, how you doing? It's good to see you here. Uh, Melissa Singletary. Um, I'm taking my suit off if y'all wonder what I'm wiggling around for. How are you, Lisa? Say, uh, what do your intro mean? Got in, what do your intro mean? I don't know. 
I don't know what you, I don't know to understand the question. Oh, um, if you're talking about the title adding boxes, I just, we're, we're beekeepers and we just added new boxes onto our hives because uh, depending on if they were productive or not. It's reasons why you should add a new box. If they're in there making a lot of babies, they're in there making a lot of larvae, making a lot of eggs, making a lot of honey, they need space. If you don't give them space, they'll feel like they're being crowded and they will swarm. They will leave. Um, hey, uh, Simbi Davis. Uh, how do you handle cutting grass around your bees? They chased me yesterday. Okay, C7, that's an excellent question. This is what you do. Number one, did you, I don't know if y'all seen, did you see that black stuff we was walking on? Wherever you got your hive at, you want to put um, some kind of grass covering around it, no matter what. I mean, that just makes your life a lot easier. And you can only go so far doing that. So what I like to do, when I cut the grass in front of my bees, I wait. I, I do it early, early in the morning before they really get going good. Or I do it late, like right before dusk when they all back home and they could care less about you. Now, if they super busy, like here around 4 o'clock. And okay, just say in California, in California, 4 o'clock is where y'all three hours behind. So like at 1 o'clock. No, that's a little different. It don't matter what time, but every time the sun's going down. So here, around four, five, four or five-ish, all the bees is coming back home. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Or are you asking for it? I cut the grass in front of the bees for years. And sometimes, you know what? If I'm desperate, I'm going to keep it all together real with you. If I really just need to get the grass cut and I ain't got time to be waking up early in the morning like I got to work or something, but I got to get the grass cut, what I do, I will put my suit on and then uh, run the walker past them or, the, or my tractor. I, put my, I will put my suit on if I have to. Uh, Led, I posed my paper on the bees lesson. Oh, po posted my paper on the bees lesson. So can't remember where to buy bees and queen. Where do I order a suit? All of that stuff is online. And where you buy bees at, it has to be somewhere local in your area. You just can't buy them from anywhere. They want because you gotta go pick them up. Half the time they won't even ship them. Some people won't even ship them. Uh, when serious storms or hurricanes come your way, do you tie the hive down or take any precautions? Yes, I do. That's an excellent question. You know what I use? Uh, you know the ratchet straps like you tying down your load onto your trailer? I, I got ratchet straps, ratchet straps just for the hives. They in the garage. Usually, I just keep them on there. But I stopped doing that because just leaving them on the hive, it, the sun will bake the strap and cook that strap until it starts fraying and it won't be any good. You will unloose it one time and it will break. So now I keep the strap off. Keep a brick on top, but when I know a storm is coming, I rush outside, put ratchet straps over the whole, the whole hive. I don't care how many boxes I got. Hey, Liv, uh, what's your take on the, that hive? I don't like it, plain and simple. I just don't like it. I'm waiting for somebody to just show me something because you see all the stuff we do? You ain't doing that with no flow hive, and they talk about some. you just crank out the honey. Did you see all the issues we just had? Okay, they ain't building up here. They building in the wrong place. They doing this. Okay, how they gonna do that? That's what that flow hive do. And you have not heard nobody, nobody real use it yet. And it's expensive. So to each his own. I, I don't deal. I don't, I don't like them. If you really been keeping bees for a long time, one thing you will know you always need equipment. Hey, Sion Family Garden. You always need equipment. Before we came out here, we was in here assembling more frames because we knew we was putting on more boxes. We need more frames. What you gonna do with a flow hive? Spend another five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars and go buy a whole nother hive and you might need two boxes? It don't make no, none of it make no sense to me. Uh, Beauty in the Garden said, yes, it was. Uh, yes, it is. I was reading up about it. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm, that's not my cup of tea. Yeah, and they way too expensive, about $700 somewhere around there for one box. And y'all have seen me over the years. I will have about five boxes stacked, right? So you do the math on that. Four, we gonna even just say four. Four boxes times $700? You talking about uh, $2,800 for one high? And you keep splitting your hive, so you end up with four, five, six hives. Man, it don't even make any sense. Nobody can make that make sense to me. And I just keep seeing those commercials, and I'm like, they saying everything except the right thing. They saying everything except stuff that makes sense. They, hey, Bert Richardson, you back? What's going on, man? I'm just, I just wanted to show people me throw the, uh, me and Lady Led work the hive real quick. Uh, are you familiar with uh, Blaine? Uh, there's a brother named, what's the name? He and his brother are amazing naturalists. Nope, I don't know nothing about them. Never heard of them. Uh, uh, you live with the honey cell? Nope. I'm, listen, I'm going to tell you something, Kristen, uh, Kristen. True story. With everything going on right now, I'm doing everything in my power just to store food. I won't be selling no honey this year. I promise you. I don't care how much I get. I won't be selling no honey this year. That won't be on the website because I'm, I'm wishing, I'm glad I had a chance to share it with everybody, but I'm wishing I had it back because things is weird. And I just, we trying to store up as much food as we can. Um, Cause I wanted to show y'all. I man, I even opened up a instead of opening up my big garden, I, I just went straight back to my buckets, like my bucket game. I'm growing all kind of stuff. I got food on my front porch that I gotta uh, go plant. Hey, Ashe says, uh, "How are you? Peace and life, and you and the wife storm past. Thank you for that. Thank you. Is the Jackery 500 behind you? Yes, it is. Right here. Uh, Sion Family Garden said." Uh, that honey was prime time, man. It, man, would you tell them it's it ain't no store bought honey. You ain't gonna taste nothing like that, and you never will again because they just gonna keep changing the recipe. The bees. How do you split hives? I can't have bees where I'm located in Georgia. Just wanted to know. Um, I'll tell you about it. Okay, uh, got another plum tree on clearance. All right, Monique. NJ Cali Garden, what's up, man? What's up, bro? Say, uh, how's the sugar cane doing? Man, do you know I haven't even had time to plant all of that yet? I got it in, everything in little coffee pots. I still got to get it out there. I've been, man, you know, my life, bro, right now. I'm working on it, though, but I see yours knocking, knocking out the box. You just keep that thing going. Say, hey, Led, uh, had to crack open a Harbor Freight battery jumper. We can manufacture this. What now? We had to crack open a Harbor Freight Tools battery jumper. We can manufacture this. I don't understand what you're saying. Explain it to me a little better. One of my delivery guys saw my hive boxes and told me he kept bees in Jamaica. He would be helping me. Any help you can get is valuable. If you talk to anybody that know how to that have hives, please take them up on their offer. Check them out first, though. You know, check them out first. But. <laughs> Yeah, for the most part, yes. Um, hey, uh, Godless Leo, uh, Goddess Leo, I always do that. Brit might say I tried to plant sugar cane from the international market. I saw roots, but they didn't take. I I said that a long time ago. I said some of that stuff is for for eating, and some of it is for growing. The stuff the stuff that um, let me see. Is it good to keep your box on the ground or stand? No, you gotta you gotta raise them up off the ground because it gets you gotta get them off the ground. And you don't need a big stand like you saw me do. Matter of fact, I'm taking mine off of that. I like my little stand, but it's it's days is number. Now I'm gonna come out there and have a whole toppled over beehive. So I'm gonna be going out there tomorrow and put them on some um some bricks and sticks. Most of our uh, bee replacements come from Georgia. Let me see. Two percent. What do you think of honey from farmers market honey? Uh, they say it's real. They say it's real in Walmart. See, I can't speak on nobody else's stuff. I, I'm not gonna do it. All I'm telling you is, I've tasted honey from a lot of places. 
I'll never buy no honey again. I will wait. I'd rather wait because I know if something ain't right. All honey ain't supposed to taste the same. All honey ain't supposed to taste the same. That just make you start thinking about stuff, right? Question about bees. I know you keep your vertical bee, but what's your opinion on horizontal hive setup? My own day one. Um, my own. I started out. Those are called um. Mm, top bar hive. Thank you, honey. Those are called top bar hives. Those produce a lot of bees, but they don't produce very much uh, honey at all. So they're there. They're, they are there to be kind of cute. They will produce honey, but nothing, nothing in the way of how a Langstroth vertical hive will. But yeah, I really I have pictures and videos of all of those. I had about three of three or four of them not built from scraps. Uh, let me see. Let me see, percent farmer's market, honey is the bomb. But just because it's at the farmer's market don't mean nothing. I just want to get y'all clear on that. Just because you get something at the farmer's market don't mean anything. Because you know what? I know some people that know some people that sell stuff at the farmer's market because they got it on sale or in the back of some grocery store. Hmm? Instead of it going into the dumpster, it went to this person for a fraction of the cost. You get it at the farmer's market. And you, that stuff, man, I don't believe nobody unless you tell me where your farm is. See, the farmer's market and the flea market and all that stuff, you don't know. Just because you see some dude sitting there in a chair selling his wear does not mean he just grew all this stuff himself. That ain't how it always go. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you something else. If you go to most farmer's markets from here to Georgia that I know of, okay, I can't speak on your spot, but... Most farmers markets from here to Georgia, you know where they get a lot of their produce from? Florida. They get, they, some of it even still got labels on it. They won't even take the labels off. So farmers, farmers market, just because you get something from the farmers market, and to me, don't mean nothing. You don't know. Show me your farm. Where's your farm at? And then I, let, me, let me know where that is. And where, Where's your farm? That is perfect. Ooh, 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 I might have to make a shirt. Where's your farm? You said rice patty. Ting Bob. <laughs> uh, let me see. I know most of the people at the farmer's market. My cousin does own app, uh, maple syrup and his neighbor does honey. Right, but you got to know them. You got to know them just because they're sitting at the farmer's market does not mean anything. Not to me. I've seen watermelons they left the label on. I've even been to the farmer's market and start watching them peel. One day I make their kids sit there and peel the labels off of all the watermelons and stuff like they grew it themselves. Come on, man. Uh, I'm going to ask that next time. Don't ask them nothing. Don't disrespect them. Don't disrespect them. Just go in there with the mindset of, man, come on. You know, they just in there trying to make a dollar. They ain't, come on, man. Uh, say I have a grandpa B had his smoker. Smoker, and he's gone since 1963. Rest of, okay, all right, Bob. Uh, hi, Led. I have a friend in Jamaica who has bees, and... And that was some of the best honey. You're right. Those farmers markets don't mean nothing. No, it could be a front. You know, I ain't saying they all crooked. And I ain't going to call them crooked at all. Just don't go in there thinking oh, everything is organic and this dude grew this on his little farm in the back of the woods. Because that's what people go in there with the mindset of thinking. And that's bogus. You be there long enough. You go to the farmers market long enough. You will see they had their kids peeling labels off stuff. You will see the label on the bottom of the pot of something, or the lip. You will see. Uh, a lot of farmers markets get their produce from the same place where supermarkets get their produce. A man. I wish I could tell you the guy's name that I know. I'm gonna just say this. I work with him, and I ain't gonna say no more. I work with him. 
No, it ain't shameful. It ain't shameful. It's just don't go in there thinking, for instance, don't go in the grocery store buying stuff out of the organic section and going to buy something for two or three or four times the price and thinking that's what you really get. You got to use your head, man. Oh, look, you switch a sign from organo, organic to just regular. All you do is mix up the signs. It Don't go in there thinking like that. I don't trust nobody. Listen, if you want to know you getting organic food, if you want to know what you getting and it's organic and it's pure, grow it yourself. Grow it yourself. You ain't got to ask no questions of what it, who did it, what's in it, how did you grow it. Grow it yourself and you can't go to a store and complain about nothing. Y'all said this organic and don't do that. Don't do that because actually, in a way, you know how the system is set up. When did they start telling the truth? So if you go in there with that kind of mindset, you're the one that's wrong, not the person that their whole establishment was built on lying to you. You're the one is wrong. As the family garden say, growing some is better than none. Exactly. I'd rather grow a handful of apples. I got I got two ugly little apples. And when I say they ugly, mm, they missed a day on uh school yearbook day. They wasn't taking no pictures of these apples. That right there, but I grew them. I know what's in them. And they delicious. So, you know, uh, Miss Nini said, I bought some of that honey, tasted nutty and peachy, probably the best honey I ever had. The family were on the side of the road. They probably were real beekeepers. Because everything, everything tastes different. You know, every jar of honey is different. That's right. Grow your own, eat your own. That's right, big. Say, uh, grow your own, you know exactly what's in it. Amen. Uh, Garden of Twitty, how does purple honey happen? Um, it just depends on what, where these bees got their nectar from. That's all. It, it, it's no different. If they got, got it from some, something dark that lets out a dark nectar, you're going to have some uh, dark honey. Do you use the same extractor from past video? Yes, but I, I was about to invest in a one that's uh, electric <laughs> because I know how our harvests go and I'll be there cranking. Y'all don't know. I'll be there cranking for days. I'll put that drill on it. I'll crank that for days. Y'all don't even got no clue. Think about this. I'm cranking out 10 and 15 and 20 gallons. Did you hear me? Five gallon buckets and I get about four or five of them. Man, that's a lot of work. Let me see. I'm trying to grow food next year. I have too much shade. You can still grow food in the shade. You just got to look at what kind of stuff grow in the shade. And, and, and don't let nobody mess your head up with that. Because some things actually do like the shade. They say full sun. And you put it out there and it burn up like an old french fry. Some stuff likes the shade. How much honey do your bees make in winter months? I don't know. I don't take no honey from them in the winter. I just leave everything to them during the winter months. That's theirs. Um, I buy my honey from legit beekeepers on eBay. Uh, hello, Mr. Lid. I'm late. Uh, got my power back. It was off for a little over an hour here in Ridge Manor, Florida. Sounds like I missed a good one. No, you ain't missed nothing. I'm glad your power back on, though. I hope you was ready. Someone asked if the suits totally stop the stingers because she wants to keep bees, but she's allergic. No, I will never tell you that they're 100% effective. And don't ever think that because they might get through the suit. I don't care what you wear. And if you put on something too much padding, you'll pass out from a uh, heat stroke. So that, that just might be something you're going to have to pass on. I don't want nobody getting hurt. Uh, when do you harvest honey? When they tell me it's time. There is no set time. Like today, we thought we was going in there and harvest some honey, but uh, they wasn't as productive as I would like them. We could have pulled two boxes, but I said, nope, just put another box on there. Let them, let them do their thing. So that's what we was doing just now. Uh, let me see. 
very true. Most plants like shade, if you think about six plus hours of sun and daylight. Exactly, beauty in the garden. I got a whole bucket garden right here, and it get about three to four hours of sun, and then it's shaded for the rest of the day. And when I say I got peppers up the yin yang, I, ooh, I can't make that up. Let me see. Uh, my we me while come quiet tree lost all its top leaves. Should I be worried? And pot it up about a month ago. Nope, it's gonna be fine. Have I harvested honey yet? Nope, not yet. Okay. Uh, I love you and your wife. You guys are the realest. Thank you for reaching back. Thank you so much. We just showing everybody, you know what my, my real goal is? My goal is not to teach nobody nothing. That's where a few people that don't care for me very much keep getting things twisted on what I do. So I thought I explained it a little better. I'm not trying to teach anybody anything. What I'm doing is just showing people that it's possible. That's it. Because a lot of people that look like me have never thought of half the stuff I do. So if I show people that, yeah, another brother is doing that, a brother keeping bees or a brother in a garden, a brother with a farm, a brother that goes camping and like to sleep outside, that's all I'm showing you is ain't nothing wrong with it, and it's possible. That's it. I don't try to teach nobody nothing for the guy to keep saying I'm trying to teach people stuff. Not. Have at it. Me, I just want to show people that it's possible. That's all. You may not be a teacher, but you and your lady lit are inspiration. And see, that's the thing. If it, it if it does inspire, that's you can use that word. If it inspires, that's all I'm looking for. I don't need no payback. I don't need nothing. Long as it inspires somebody to be like, you know, I seen a dude keeping bees. Big guy. Just out there with some bees all over him. Him and his wife. If, if somebody, I bet you I could do that. And then, you know, everybody don't really care for the bees. But when you see me pouring out five and ten gallons of honey into jars, that will inspire you. And if it doesn't inspire you, it at least make you think about maybe someday it make you at least think about it. You know, you you'll be lying if you say it didn't. A uh, guard of Twitty said, Led, did you try the uh, two queen hive system this year? Two queen hive. No, I don't I don't do that. Great to capture the nectar flow in the small amount of time. No, I haven't done that. Uh, I would like to say thank you, uh, Inez. I would like to say thank you because you started a small container garden on, on my balcony. If all goes well, I'll expand. Thank you, Lynn. You are welcome. You don't even have to thank me. I'm just glad that you gave it a shot. Um, Reba Patterson, you are sharing experiences, encouraging others. Thank you. Uh, I mentioned you and what I have learned from you and Lady Led on the regular. Thank you so much. That's all I care about. That's it. You know, Brenda said, you make us think we can do it, do for ourselves. No, you make you think you can do for yourself because you already know you can. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes you just need a little reminder that you can pull this off. They always cooking when I'm on the video. Uh, Tamara said, got the Blue Eddie on today. I'm so excited. Which one did you get? I'm going live. Uh, let me see. If I carry this through, I haven't been in support on my beekeepers when y'all... Do start selling honey. It's going to be a while. The world going to have to change before I start selling more honey and uh, any of that. So Wanda said, hey amen. All walks of life keep bees around here. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Ty Lily, I ain't seen you in a while. Say, had on my suit when helping uh, on cutout. Let my face shield get next to my chin. And you don't, don't you know she found that spot? That's why it's best to wear a baseball cap. To keep that shit. Oh, because y'all be having that, that flat one. That's why I don't like that one. Because it sits on your face when you keep it. No. 
I don't like that one that, that with the little sit on your head like this and that face piece come back. I don't like that. I'm just not fond of things that sting, especially if they fly also. You're you going to have to get out of that, Joe. Let Joe, I'm going to tell you this. Man, this is a new world, man. We're going to have to start experiencing new things to survive. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to tell you nothing. I'm just saying, we got to stop that. I don't like, you know what? It's a lot of stuff I don't like doing. I don't feel like I like doing certain things no more. It's not even about that. Now it's time, man. What do we need to be doing? We need to be growing our own food. We need to be stocking up our food, canning our own food, learning some life skills. We need to be storing energy, getting energy. All that stuff is work. But let me tell you something that I heard earlier. I heard, I heard this brother say this, and he, he inspired me. He said this. I'm not going to repeat everything he said, but you know what he said while I was watching this video? He said, He was talking about power and he was talking about having some kind of backup power. He said, ain't it something that you don't even know that you're being controlled? You're being controlled. You know how? Because all they got to do is cut your lights out and you don't know what to do. Thank you, brother, for saying that, too, if you watch it. All they got to do is cut your lights out and you don't, so many people across this country don't have a clue what to do. That's called control. If they cut the water off and tell you it's a boiler advisory, don't cut, use the water for the next week or three to five days, guess what? That's control. You can't have no water till we tell you you can. You can't have no lights till we tell you you can. Here's the crazy part. Your little meter on the outside of your house never stops running. I hope you know that when your lights go out, your little meter never stops running. Okay, you're still getting charged for sewage, for sewer uh, fee when your water is cut off. Your usage fee may be zero, but your sewage fee still keeps going or vice versa, either way. So you're being charged for something that you don't even got. So if you don't take a little bit of that control back, you bound to drizzle down. That's all on you. And that's all I'm trying to do is show you, man, look, I know I don't like doing a lot of the things that I do. I don't. That ain't what I feel like doing. I feel like jumping on my motorcycle and, and riding down to Florida and go see Eco Neighbor and GG Natural. I would love to do that. Run over here and go see Essie the, the homesteader. But, man, it's work to be done. You, We got to stop this um, what we don't like stuff. We got to stop it. Can I tell you something? A lot of folks is laughing at us. A lot of folks is laughing at us. That's all I'm saying. Because we, we're, we're actually saying stuff like that out of our mouths. That what we won't do in an emergency. Or what we ain't going to do to survive. Or what we don't like. We showing two things. We showing our weakness. And showing what we won't do. That's where they get a strength at. And use it against you. Okay. I'm just saying. I don't say too much stuff like that out of my mouth. You, you, never, you never tell your enemy your weaknesses. I just show them, look, I can do it just like you can. I can do it just like you can. You did? Right. When you show them you can do it, then that make them like, thought we had this sucker. Nope, you ain't got me. So the best uh, it's the best practice now before the trouble hits. Yes it is. See I had to go back to my grandparents, great grandparents, aunts and uh, great uncles to teach me. 
uh, let me see. Um, I want to get a hand on some some red honey because of the medical features. Well, grow grow it yourself, S. Smith. Get your own hive started. Don't wait on somebody else to give you no honey. Get your own hive started. Now they say I got a part time job. Uh, I got a part time job to help me buy my blue eddy. I refuse to be caught behind. Man, that's the most inspiring thing I ever heard. I wish I was on my laptop so I would pin that comment. That's what I'm talking about. Some stuff you got to step out and do a little extra to handle. Get your stuff tightened up. You got to learn from your weaknesses and make it a strength. Amen. This is why I find survival and prep bushcraft video so informative. Yes, it is. Uh, Self-reliance is fading. Your message will. Yep, that's true. Hey, sir, interested in solar generator, looking at one called Nature's Generator. I don't know much about them. Uh, I'm going to tell you who do, does, though. Uh, where she at? I just seen her. Trina's. I always mess her name up, and I don't want to mess it up. It's a couple people in here. I don't know much about them, and I don't want to speak on them too, too much because I don't want to mess up nothing. But thank you, Ya. Yalida. Yalita, okay, I got you. Said thank you. Keep doing what you're doing because it brings awareness to a lot of family. I I accept the help. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. A part-time job for survival. That's right. One again, Blue Eddie versus Jackery. Uh, one again, Blue Eddie versus versus Jackery. I don't know what that meant, but have you looked into baby? Cut that light on for me. Have you looked into wind turbine generators? Yes, and it's a hoax. There, there is no sensible, reasonable, residential wind turbine that's not going to get you in some kind of trouble. Right, Trina's Organic. Trina's Organic is the one with the uh, nature's, nature's generator. You want to look her up, okay? Trina's Organic. She's here in, in the chat, I think she was. Thank you so much, Planner Garden TV. So you really help, and Lady Leia does too. Thank you for that, Kathleen. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Which is better, Blue Eddie or Jackery? I'm not going. I'm not doing it. Um, they both have things that you like, and they both have things that you hate. If I'm going to compare these two, this one got something I like, and that one got something I like. That one got something I hate, and that one got something I hate. It, now the question is, if I could only have one, if you could only have one between the Jackery 500. And EB70, EB70 all day, all day, all day. Price, power, everything, all day. Your, your song, honey. Your song. I wish I could show people your moves. Uh, you ready to get your hair cut, Sonny Jimmy Jimmy? I'm about to slice you up, boy. I know I, I was uh I had barber skills years ago. I've been cutting my kids' hair since all of them was born. I still even tighten up Lady Lead hair. Y'all don't even know. Which ones hold a longest charge? That's not fair, because it just depends on what you're using them for. Uh isn't the rain isn't the rain are we getting beautiful? I don't know what that meant. Lead, uh we thank you, brother. You the truth. Thank you, Dragon Manifest Show. Thank you for that. Um, the only one I saw for us is the water lily. Oh, I must have missed something. Thank you for that, Big Snacks. Uh, Tamara Ya said, did you cut your hair? Yeah, but that's, that's no indication. I just cut my hair bald. That's no indication of my skills. <laughs> at all you know i just take my clippers cut them take a razor zip it now back in the day forget about it as a matter of fact i'm i'm gonna show you right now i'm gonna show you something right now i don't use this for that anymore but this will give you a little indication 
of my skills. You know what that is? I use this now for just cutting open boxes and stuff of that nature. I don't, I don't use it for what I used to use it for. Old school, that's right. That's right. Everybody, daddy and everybody uncle used to have one of these, right? Well, old school barbers used to use this too. And I still even got my leather for it. Uh, let me see. I live in a small apartment and I'm prepared. Then all my family who lives in houses, they think I'm crazy. Let them think. Let them think. Right, right. It's good for air layering now, right? Right. Uh, and grafting. Let me see. Say, uh, Miss... Miss Sealy made Mr. Nervous with that right. 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 You, you're ugly. Hey, let me stop. Let me, just, <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> she tore him up. Do you have the Jackery 1500? No. I have the Jackery 500. I have the Blue Eddie 1500. Say my family thinks I'm crazy trying to tell them the things going on with shortages. They don't listen. That you know what? You gotta let people do what they're gonna do. All right. You gotta let people do what they're gonna do. I don't I don't try to convince nobody no more. Uh please tell me how to purchase a lemon tree. I can't tell you that, uh precious. You just go online and look up lemon tree. That's as much as I could tell you. Uh, hey, Led, uh, 73, my pomegranate and, and pepper's growing. <sighs> Y'all should see my pomegranate. I'll do a video on it. My pomegranates, they hurting. They hurting, you hear me? Them boys look like, look like pool balls right now. I told y'all that pollinating was going to work from the female to the male. Nothing crazy about being ready for anything. Absolutely not. Absolutely. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, no. It, it start getting a little crazy when you start prepping for like alien invasions and stuff like that. It's, it can't get. It can't get weird. You know, I'm preparing for the sun to explode. How you gonna do that? You know, right? Zombies, right? <laughs> Sapper, zombies coming. Okay, so you understand me, don't you? If I say no, will you kill me? <laughs> if I say no, will you kill me? Because, you know, yes, kind of. So, shoo. How you doing, Karen? So every pomegranate tree I buy dies still trying to. I bet you they ain't dead. I think you throwing them out too soon. All the leaves fall off and they look like dry little sticks. Plant them anyway. They'll come up from the root. It gets crazy when you start looking like that one prepper TV show. Yeah, that's that gets weird. Burying old school buses under the ground and stuff. You got your whole family down there stinking. Living in an old rusty school bus about 15 feet up under the ground. It get dumb. Uh... Thank you, Sadie. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, let me see. Black Mama says, some people have underground bunkers but lost their minds after three weeks of 10 p.m. curfew, but they say, let, let me tell you something right now. And, and this is my word. Um, we have been so pampered and so spoiled on everything, even with this. We have been so pampered and so spoiled that most folks won't even know what to do if it really went down. And everybody is like, I, look, look, when 2020, I haven't had a cheeseburger in four days. It's the end of the world. No, no, it's not. You know, people was mad because they could, listen, people literally protested and people stormed and, and fussed and went off 
because they couldn't go to their favorite restaurants. You remember how many people got, um, we're going to call it handled because they wanted to go in this restaurant. And they were like, sir, we can only have one at a time. I can come in here. I don't believe in that stuff. I'm, we ain't going to talk about the problem that was going on. What we're going to talk about is you mean to tell me you couldn't have a cheeseburger for two months and you was going to lose your mind and you willing to hurt somebody and bring somebody bodily harm because you can't have a, a juicy steak or a cheeseburger and some fries? You would Come on, man. That, to me, show every kind of spoiled, pampered bone in so many people's bodies. It was all over the news. Entitled, spoiled, pampered. You ain't gonna keep me from getting no cheeseburger. You mean to tell me if it really went down, that's, the, that's what's gonna kill you? A cheeseburger? Not having one? Well, you one I won't have to worry about coming through my front door then. Cause you will die before you get here. Right. Weak in the mind, that's right, Sapper, weak-minded. You mean to tell me you don't got enough willpower and strength to get through? If it really went down? Oh, I gotta be driving around, wasting gas? No. It's just, it, it's just, it's just ridiculous. So, honestly, listen, I like this stuff back here. I really, really enjoy it, but I got skills where I don't need any of this stuff. My wife and my children know that they know that their husband and their dad, if all of this was gone, because before I had any of this crap, I had me and this up here. If you don't, okay, here you go right here. How many people know how to make a fire? Not with matches. Show of hands. How many people right now can start a fire? Without a magnifying glass. Sapper, you might as well put your hand down. I already know. <laughs> Without a magnifying glass. That right there. Because without fire, water, and shelter, you, you, you doomed. Without fire, water, and shelter, you doomed. First thing you should build is a shelter. Next thing you should do is make a fire. Then go find you some water. Yeah, that's, that's easy to say, Reba, friction. But you got to know how. And I'm going to tell you something. That sounds easy. But starting a fire from friction of any sort takes muscle, it takes hard work, it takes patience and concentration. And I'm going to tell you something else. If you're hungry and if you're thirsty and you are dehydrated and the weather is beating down on the back of your head, you're not going to be focused enough to put the right kind of friction because you could put too much friction on, on it or whatever your system is. You could put too much friction or you can make it where you ain't putting enough friction. You might have your, uh, your bird's nest. You might get a spark and you didn't put your bird nest in right. That means you got to start over. It might be too humid outside. All of those factors kick in. And if you don't know none of that stuff, you'll be sitting there wasting all of your last little bit of energy trying to survive. You're wasting the last little bit of your energy. Say you don't even got no flint. No flint. No flint. Because a flint is just like a match to me. That's almost cheating. Not a striking stick. None of that stuff. I'm telling you. I got some videos. I'm going to put on the end of this. And show you how I made fire. A piece of cotton. Some ashes. And some sticks. That's only one way. But I'm telling you, if you don't know, no, no Vaseline. If you get stranded somewhere, you ain't gonna have no Vaseline. You got to, you got to use your head. And if you don't know certain skills, man, get, get this stuff out your head. 
okay? Because with the gas generator, you can run out of gas. If it's always cloudy and raining, you ain't got no sunlight. If the lights go out, you ain't got no electricity to do nothing. What's your next move? These are things you we should all be practicing. Uh, lead, do you make and uh, char cloth? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And while y'all was watching us barbecue out there the other day, you didn't see my fire pit. I put those fires out so I can get my char. I don't burn everything down to the ash. I keep my char and I store it away. Yes. That stuff is, is priceless. No, no steel wool, no nine volt battery. That stuff you get from the store. I'm talking about the store of the world right here. Go out there and get what you need and, and start your fire. Better for fi better fire for me is the shortening power candles. If you don't got no shortening, what you gonna do? You have to have something to light the candle. See, you got to light the candle. You need fire to light the candle. We got to think first. You know, you got to think about what comes first. You know how to cook underground, but where's the fire coming from? Where's the heat coming from? So what do we do? I, I got a video I'm going to show you. I didn't know how to start a fire. Help me. Okay. What type of container do you store char in? I store it in paper. I don't store it in a plastic container because it'll get moist in there. I use cotton to make my char cloths. Yes, and you know what? Old shirts work. That's why I always get everything 100% cotton from my shirts to my socks. Because you don't know, this shirt might end up being a lifesaver, a tourniquet, or a fire starter. No, if you don't got a friction saw, what you going to do? Or you talking about one that you just made? A friction bow? maybe but nothing you can buy no not steel wool that's something you can buy not dryer lint because dryer lint is just a bird's nest that's not going to start the fire i have never made fire without stuff from nature i will try it tomorrow everybody should be trying that throw a spark from a hammer it could work. I'll give you a couple points on that. It could work, but you're going to be doing that for days. I know sap from pine trees. Those types make good fire starters. Sap? Not the sap. The needles, those, they ain't fire starters. Those are just the kindling that you need the fire to get started in. They, they start faster. But you have to have some kind of ignition source, whether friction or some kind of spark. Uh, 2%, that's the real truth, lavender. Yep. Uh, you can make a bow drill, lots of work. Exactly. And when you're making that stuff, um, a fat lighter, that's just something that's lit after it's lit. That's just the fat wood. How are you igniting the fat wood or the pine needles? Flint rock bow. Flint rock or bow. You got to find flint rock, and some people don't even know what flint look like. Two rocks hitting together. You can't just hit two kind of different old plain old rocks together and think a fire going to happen. You got to have the right kind of mineral, mineral rock to strike together, to start a spark, two, and you got to hit that just right so that spark falls into your bird nest just right. So you'll waste energy looking around for that kind of rock that might not even exist in the place that you are. I'm just, you know what, Simbi? There's plenty of answers, but you see, there's plenty of wrong answers too. I'm not gonna do it right now, Deborah Smith, but I, I'm gonna show you a video. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna link it at the end of this video. You use so much energy trying to start a fire, and if you ain't in your right mind and you exhausted, that's the first thing I would do. Instead of trying to start a fire, if I was that exhausted, is I would try to make shelter first. Get some water and shelter. Shelter first. Because it's in the middle of the night, and you're trying to start a fire by friction, 
or spark, shh, good luck. You'll end up dead in the elements before you get a fire started. I also have feral rods. Feral rods you can get from the store. Feral rods is good, but that's, that's not natural. Friction fires are a lot harder than people think. Man, if you don't have a callus from trying to start a friction fire, <laughs> from trying to start a friction fire, if you don't have calluses from trying to start friction fires and blisters, you ain't, you ain't did nothing. So yeah, you are totally correct. And if it's damp, right thank you good one good one miss native cherokee if it's damp uh give up on a bow drill you can pretty much give up on anything if it's super humid or damp damp wood start looking for shelter and figuring out how you're gonna keep warm tonight uh game dirt mom said you can use the sun and a piece of glass if the sun is out if the sun is out you want to know something else about that you better have whatever kind of optic pointed so perfectly to get your fire ignited and get, get this. You don't even need a glass. You can also use plastic. But you are exhausted and it's hot. Now remember, you're supposed to be doing this in the sunlight. So you yourself are sitting in the sunlight too, sweating, right? Using up all your electrolytes. And you better not take the angle once you get the prime angle from your optic, you better not move it because whatever you see smoking down there in your bird's nest, if you move just a little bit, it's, you got to start all over again. So remember, if you're trying to start it from the sun, you're in the sun too. You can't be in the shade and have your hands out here like this, holding it out, trying to keep your optic, whatever kind of optic situation you got. You, you, it ain't going to work. Say so yes, they say fire is their specialty. Then three days later, to start no fire. Uh, thank you for getting thinking. Right, I because this is stuff that's fun, fun to try. Just like all the stuff we do, just try it. Google it, YouTube it, and try it. Try making a fire in the rain or winter. That's, that's a toughie. Because for some reason, even if you try to uh, start a fire with an optic, for some reason the sun's rays just won't ignite a fire right. Um, in the winter months, the sun rays just ain't powerful enough for some reason. I've tried it. It's hard to start one in the winter. I've started one in the winter once, and I thought I think it was a fluke. I did it with a two-liter bottle. Well, what you cooking? Some feet? What is that stink? You cooking some toes or something? What is it? Oh, smell like some bum rum. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. No, what? Whatever you cooking, stop it. Throw that out. Don't even give it to the chicken. Yeah, spread that toe jam with the peanut butter. Power out in Philadelphia. Are you ready? Uh, Tom Delano, are you ready? Said, Led, you need an office. I, I do. I'm working on it. She be making, yeah, it smell like rump roast. Let me see. My grandmother taught me how to bury uh, live coal under ashes to use next day. And it ain't hard to do. You don't even have to learn how to do that. They do that on their own. You let that top half burn off and lay up under the ashes. And guess what? All you do is come back out there and stoke the fire. You got a whole nother fire. I got fires be out here in this fire pit that last for days if you don't touch it. Even through the rain. Can you believe that? I can't make that up.
I make shelters with tarps. Exactly. Exactly, Bob. Just hear me. A few large containers of shortening and candles can provide fire. How are you going to light it, though? Heat for months, and it's discreet, especially if you are a woman alone. You got to figure out how you're going to light it, but you are right. Ready in Fort Worth. All right, Fort Worth. Hope you're all ready, Gardner Twitty say. Fred says, black powder is very dangerous if you really don't know about it. What? What? Oh, oh, because so somebody said gunpowder. Right. I wouldn't suggest that to anybody. That's right, uh, Goddess Leo. Yeah, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be trying to put that, I wouldn't be trying to use no kind of black powder to do anything. Okay, I'm gonna leave y'all alone. I've been messing with y'all. You know what? I really just came in here, um, just to show y'all the bees, and we end up here as usual. So I'm gonna let y'all leave y'all to your own devices. Say so I will start. Uh, oh no, don't do that. Will you do a video on many ways to start fire? I've done them. I got them. I'm going to just repost them, put them in the uh, community post for you. Now you got me ready to get some Bunsen burners, start something from Science Center. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, something's wrong. Uh, Led's mouth is moving after he stopped speaking like old movies. As long as you get the message, it'll be all right. Reminds me of the movie... What's the name? Johnson, where he goes to live in the mountains. I'm going to have to see that. That's Well, thank you, Guard of Twitty. I'm going to let y'all have it. Guava, uh, Sapper. Guava, man. I'm going to get on out of here. We've been in here long enough. And I'm telling you, I'm dehydrated, honey. I need some water. Look at my eyes. Look, honey. That's my, I got it. Make myself look pitiful. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. No. Somebody come. I'm going to carve that turkey. It's right here. That means you got to get on Come on, honey. Kids. Come on. I'm weak. Look. No, you're not. I'm weak. I'm okay, falling so over. You need to go stay with your mom. I'm going to call Did her. Did you just tell me stay with my own mom? I'm going to call her and see if she can babysit you while I'm I don't need no babysitter. You need a babysitter. I don't need no sitter. You know what babysitters do to people. You need somebody to make sure. I don't need nobody to make me drink no. Look, the greenhouse lounge going. The greenhouse lounge going to babysit me while she gone, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> she said, "Oh my goodness, the greenhouse lounge family going to babysit me while you gone." <sighs> Y'all want to babysit me? Who house can I come over? I'm gonna come over somebody's house till she come on. I, hey, I'm going to just go and get in the RV and go visit one of our Greenhouse Lounge friends. I'm going to do the legs on the loose by myself. <sighs> mm. Everybody say, come here, come on. Say, I need some practicing. Need to do some practicing, Bob? That we responsible, we can't even stop buying seeds over. I know, I know. Say so it's a stretch, but come on over. That's okay. I stay outside. I park my <laughs> park my RV at somebody's apartment building. And park right in front of the manager's office, too. Set up a couple of lawn chairs out in front of the manager's office, like ah. Right in, I'll park it across about six different parking spaces to say new tenants. <laughs> Come on.
come and apply right there where they had the balloons at, like office this way. I just parked right there with some lawn chair. Oh, y'all coming in to see this place? Watch out. Don't rent out 106B. Roaches. Roaches. That's me. All right, y'all. I'm going to leave y'all alone. I need to go lay down somewhere. Uh, go visit. I'm drinking it. You ain't none of my mama. Say so go di visit Dan in Florida. You know what? I would if things wasn't the way they are right now for me. You got me, S. Smith. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I know she normally would fan me and give me some blueberries, but right now, she just acting like that because y'all in the room. That's right. Huh? Are you watching? Nothing. I said, you, you be watching me, make sure I'm okay. Nothing, honey. <laughs> okay, I, I better go before I get in trouble, y'all. Everybody have a wonderful night, because she watching me now. I can't, I can't, I can't whisper. So, everybody have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful night. Sorry to bug y'all again, but this was really for the beekeepers, all right? I know, don't be growing, mama. Ooh, I'm ugly when I cry too. Ooh, ooh, that one eye look like Popeye when I be crying. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's why I ain't crying, you know. All, them, all these grown men be crying like that. A bunch of keep sweats. <laughs> Not this guy. Okay. Everybody have a wonderful night, all right? Lev Farmer 73, I love y'all, and I'm out.